Today's session we can try to observe what is Unix operating system. Unix operating system history, Unix operating system features, Unix operating system architecture, Unix operating system file system structure, Unix operating system file system organization. These are the topics we will try to cover in this video session. First what is Unix? Unix is command user interface operating system. It can able to work on any type of computer, mini computers, micro computers, super computers, mainframe computers, what not on any device. So, Unix is command user interface operating system. What is the history of Unix when actually it is started? In the year of 1969, in AT and T, American Telephone and Telegraph, popularly known as Bell Laboratories, started as a project, a team led by Ken Thompson, Dennis Ritchie. The project name is Multics. Multics. Multi Information Computing Services. It is the first official operating system in the software industry. It is modern operating systems origin. Based on this operating system, now we are enjoying all modern operating systems. Multics, Multi Information computing services. This operating system maximum supports two users, two users and in 1971 to recover the drawbacks of multics again re-implemented same American telephone and telegraph popularly known as Bell Laboratories. The new project name is called UNICS, Uniplexed Information Computing Systems, Uniplexed Information Computing Systems is developed on assembly language. Assembly language alias name is symbolic language generally people are calling low level language. And after that, everybody you people knows, in 1972, Dennis Ritchie launched C language in the IT industry, father of computer languages. Once in 1972 C language launched, in the year of 1973, group of members like B language father Ken Thompson, C language father Dennis Ritchie, Dennis Ritchie plus others, plus others. In AT&T, American Telephone and Telegraph, they implemented they re-implemented UNICS, UNICS on C programming language and renamed as UNIX Unix. It is the perfect history of Unix operating system. Started with 1969 with the project of Multics multi information computing services between two users maximum to recover these drawbacks in 1971 AT&T has taken another project that is Unix Uniplexed Information Computing Systems. Again to recover those drawbacks in 1973 a group of members lead by Ken Thompson, B language father, Dennis Ritchie, C language father, 
together with other members re-implemented UNICS on C language and renamed as UNIX. This is the history of UNIX operating system. Let us will try to observe what are the features of UNIX operating system. There are the several features UNIX operating system providing. A few features we can try to observe. Number one, multi-user capability. Multi-user capability means multiple users can able to access system resources at the same time like RAM, memory and application programs etc. Second one is multi-programming. Multi-programming means multiple applications can able to run at the same time. Third one is portability. Portability is nothing but we can run the software on any hardware device in the same way that is portability. Next one is security. Security wise Unix is ultimate operating system. It has every inch secured, protected like authentication, file security, file hidden like this different characteristics available here. After that mission independent, mission independent means system hiding mission architecture from the end user. Next one Unix file system is used to store information in the files. Next one is strong networking support. It is one ultimate feature with the help of socket programming is very and highly secured network possible in the Unix. Next one is Unix shell programming is one of the best features. Generally shell means what? Collection of commands is called shell. Collection of Unix commands is called shell. Generally people are calling shell is high level programming. There are the different kind of shells available. We will see in another video session these shells. And the next one is pipes and filters. Pipe is nothing but a kind of redirection. Filter is kind of filtering what output exactly we required. Filters are nothing but there are several filters available here. First one is grep we can say, f grep we can say, e grep and different kind of filters in a separate session we can see. Next we can we will we'll try to discuss about Unix architecture. How it is actually constructed Unix architecture we can try to see each and every point. First, whenever we are talking about the Unix architecture, first I need to say about hardware. It is a low level component and after hardware available that is kernel, kernel top available shell, shell, shell top available application programs. on the top available actually user. This is a detailed Unix operating system architecture in a simple way. If you are observing in internet environment area different different pictures available to understand in a better way it is good. Let me share first what is an hardware commonly you people knows. It is a physical component of the system. What is a hardware? It is a physical component of the system. Simple example where you are seeing my video, the monitor that is hardware. Next one is kernel component. Next one is kernel. Kernel is nothing but low level programming. It is a heart of the operating system. If you want to define kernel, kernel is an interface between shell and the hardware. Simply kernel is an interface between shell and hardware is called kernel. Kernel always performs low level tasks. Example device management, memory management, system calls control all these are done by the kernel or kernel programming.
Again, kernels are classified into five types that is a different in the low level program. Now, next one is called shell. Shell is nothing but high level programming. I said already collection of Unix commands is called shell. In the shell programming area, what are the commands available in the Unix environment? Like for example, cat, ls, cp, mv, all these commands, all these commands, grep, fgrep, egrep, all these are comes under shell. Collection of Unix commands is called shell. Again, shell is classified into different types. Next one is application programs are nothing but which are satisfying end user requirements like word processors, spreadsheets, browsers, databases, powerpoints and like this others are called application programs. So, this is the detailed architecture of Unix operating system. First one is hardware, it is a physical component of the system. Next one is kernel, low level programming. Next one is shell, high level programming. Next one is application programs, powerpoints, word processors, spreadsheets, browsers, databases, etc. This is about your Unix architecture. Next we will try to see what is a Unix file system. Try to observe Unix file structure. Unix file system structure is completely hierarchical based. It has a root directory. Under this root directory, several system directories and user defined also available. One by one we can try to observe. First one is bin. Second one is dev device bin means binary. Third one is boot. Fourth one is home. Fifth one is etc. Sixth one is USR, etc. Number of predefined directories available. Now, once you try to observe, Unix is a case sensitive operating system. Whenever you are indicating the names, you must indicate with lower case only. What is bin? bin stands for binary it contains all executable files available for the users device it contains all device drivers boot it contains all bootable related information to reboot the system home it contains users as well as sub users whatever the list available home directory i will show you that one etc it contains configuration files completely admin related, configuration files, disk related files and super user related information. USR, it is a default directory type. If you install any new software, by default first installs in the USR. Let me elaborate, more directories available and we can see in home directory what are the things. I created one user in the home directory, the user name is called NIT. Observe here, all lowercase I implemented because predefined directories, Unix is case sensitive. I wrote uppercase, lowercase. User defined, you can write in any case, no problem. But where the forward slash available, this forward slash always indicates directory in the Unix. All directories in the Unix operating system, dark blue color. Now, again in this NIT directory, there are in NIT directory, there are other subdirectories available. Imagine one is shell, another one is Perl. Again, there is a file also available that is for example, Unix. Now, Unix is file because there is no forward symbol. Whenever we are going to identify this Unix file system architecture, all these are comes under user defined, 
all these are comes under predefined predefined directories these are user defined directories this is unix file system architecture after that we can try to observe a few flavors of unix operating system what are the flavors available flavor means what flavor means related to a particular organization very popular flavor in the unix is bsd berkeley software distribution it is a default operating system in 1980s onwards in the computers in the personal computers second one is sun solaris very popular flavor third one is sun microsystems fourth one is ibm aix fifth one is hp and sixth one is linux linux also one of the flavors from unix linux is graphical user interface unix is command user interface and finally we can try to observe unix file system organization how this unix file system organization available through a picture we can try to observe that unix file system organization it is having four partitions first one is boot block second one is super block third one is inode block next one is data block in unix operating system file system organization available into physical as well as logical blocks again logical blocks are classified into four main parts these are boot block super block inode block data block what is boot block it contains all bootable objects which are required to boot the system second one super block it contains file system related like how many blocks allocated how many blocks unallocated and file system file type all the information available in the super block i node block i means index it contains a unique number it contains type of the file mode of the file etc and data block where the real data stores in this block so these are the file system organization is classified into four number one is boot block super block i node block data block so a real user data stores in this block thank you watching this video for more videos catch me in youtube.com/nareshaiti